Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn about ChatGPT for data analysis. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe once and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers a data analytics postgraduate program from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like prescriptive analytics, predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find the perfect data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So let's get back onto the data set. So now we are on the Excel data set. So this is the data which we used in our previous data analytics using ChatGPT. So the only catch is the previous version what we used was the ChatGPT 3.5 the globally available free for use chat gpt correct so that version of chat gpt had to be gone through few personas remember we created a persona for chat gpt then we went into settings and we explained chat gpt to think from perspective of a data scientist or a data analyst and these will be your approaches for the answer right for the question these will be your style of answering to the questions but here we might have to follow the same or you can also give chat gpt your own prompt for explaining what kind of approach it should follow and coming back to another difference the major difference here so chat gpt 3.5 gave us steps to create a pivot table pivot chart or steps to follow to create a visualization on the bi tools like power bi and tablet correct so for a quick reference you can also refer to that video chat gpt 3.5 for data analysis from simply learn and today we are dealing with the premium version of chat gpt which is the four so the difference is you just have to tell chat gpt to think from the perspective of a data scientist or a data analyst and then give the data set and ask it for an eda just tell it give me an exploratory data analysis on this particular data set and luckily chat gpt 4 will create an entire end-to-end -end report on the exploratory data analysis based on this particular available data and it can also give you the charts which are completely downloadable it will give you data visualization charts graphs maps whatever possible from this data set and you are free to download them and create a powerpoint presentation out of it and give it to your stakeholders or your managers so that's the icing on top of the cake for your data analytics when you are using chat gpt for so let's quickly go through our data set and quickly switch to chat gpt 4 and share this data with chat gpt 4 and extract the insights that we are looking for great so the data set that we have here is based on some uh, superstore so we have pro id or writing dates right and we have um, country we have uh, region we have category, subcategory, product name, sales, quantity, discounted profit. So there are n number of possibilities. You can look for country wise sales, you can look for zone wise or region wise profits, and you can also generate some scatter plots where you can identify the impact of discount on profits, the impact on discounts on sales, right? And you can also identify which is the top country which has been giving us maximum profits and what is that country looking for what kind of products what kind of category or what kind of subcategory is giving us maximum profits from that country right and if there is some product or if there is some category which is underperforming then can you kind of uh, so you can identify some categories which are underperforming and apply some discounts and uh, you know push out their stock in a better way so these are the few insights that you can get out in charge gpt for the premium version now that we have a clear idea about what is the data we are dealing with what kind of eda that you can expect out of uh, chat gpt4 let's proceed with chat gpt4 quickly let's switch to it there you go we have switched to uh, chat gpt4 
full. Now um, you can, as usual, like the previous session, you can also go into settings. You can uh, build a persona for your chat GPT, telling it uh, the kind of answers of the kind of approach you should follow, right? You can do that, or you can just simply also, if you want it to be done in a shorter, simpler way, you can also just type, you, you know, like, you know, if you don't want to invest a lot of time and if you don't want to complicate things, you can just directly tell your chat GPT the way you have to think, right? Now, let me try that. Hi, chat GPT. Just like you're talking to your friend, correct? So, uh, imagine you are an experienced data analyst, a data scientist having 10 plus years of experience i need you to help me with some exploratory data analysis correct okay you have built the prompt now it is ready to understand your requirements and also help you with the eta now okay let it give its report or answer to my prompt let's not stop it i think it's building itself out of it so it's giving you some answer understand your objectives okay we'll also give you objectives let's say as discussed we can also give the same objectives to it so far so good advanced analysis depending on your objectives okay that sounds pretty good now that we have laid the foundation let's also give it the data set so i'll give the excel data set that we previously discussed now i have this objectives written in a clipboard let me just quickly paste it so there we have it help me with the exploratory data analysis on this data i'm looking for the following insights sales trend based on month on month you can use the line graph for that and uh, region wise different zones okay let's type it as region different zones right different regions and you can use a scatter plot to give me an ed on sales versus profit what was the impact and the donut chart subcategories yeah these are the ones which i want to explore and you can also add on a different line in case if you find anything more and you feel it could be critical in or from a business standpoint you can also let me know about it just in case if you miss to catch an important uh, part of that information chat gpt is here to help you brilliant right so that's my uh, prompt and uh, that's my uh, data overview and understanding of my objective so those are my objectives so now let's quickly fire this query there you go and, uh, now just wait it will give you everything that you're looking for it might take a little while but it's okay compared to other parameters okay some error analyzing it seems there was an issue displaying okay it's again doing the same thing it's trying to analyze sometimes there might be some error in the prompt you're writing or some some in uh, irregularity or some uh, discrepancy that's always you know to human is error right so let's try to give one-on-one -on -one, okay let me paste this here so uh there you go we have received the answer from chat gpt as a seasoned data analyst okay this was about the initial uh, explanation what we gave about chat gpt kind of a persona so here is the summary summary statistics and initial observations so sales performance analysis customer insights so you can also go through this particular answer in detail most importantly what matters to us is the downloadable reports that it generated for us so here's the first one according to our request the monthly sales over time so it has given us a line graph followed by that it also gave us a summary of statistical analysis there you go and uh, sales by category it also gave us the sales by three categories and subcategories sales by regions it's a completely detailed uh, insight that it understood from the data and also gave us the sales report so according to the second uh, request that we had these are the ones bar graph from region wise sales south central east west and category wise uh, sales using a pie chart and uh, sales report this is the sales report and the next one scatter plot so we wanted to also analyze the impact of discounts over profit so it also generated as the scatter plot and it also explains the observations it had 
So there's a first step correlation, high variability in profit and outliners and also some more insights. So this is how chat GPT premium version can be helpful for you in a complete exploratory data analysis for your data sets. And with that, we have come to the end of this session on chat GPT 4 for exploratory data analysis. And uh, should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require any of the data sets that we used in this session or the prompts that we used in this session, then please do let us know in the comment section below. And also, just in case, if you find few more um, approaches or if you are looking for a few more alternate approaches or suggestions from us please feel free to comment us down in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you as soon as possible until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.